And so now we come to that moment where you have the opportunity to introduce items of new business. If you make a motion, then please, if you've not pre-filed it, give a written copy of it to the page at your microphone to bring to the platform. Be sure that your name and the name of your church and the city and state in which your church is located are attached to your motion. Under the rules, all motions are referred to the Committee on Order of Business. And so I just wanna help you here. The best thing that you can do is to step up to that microphone when I recognize you and give your name. I'm Bart Barber. Tell where you're a messenger from. I'm a messenger from First Baptist Church in Farmersville, Texas. And then say, I move. Don't make your case for your motion because we're not gonna be voting on it right now. Save that for when the messengers get to hear about it. Just say, I move, and then some preferably simple motion. Like, I move that this convention make Dublin Dr. Pepper the official drink of the Southern Baptist Convention. Yeah, there, hey, all right, there you go. There you go, there's support for that. And you will need to give a second, the rest of you will need to give a second to people when they make a motion. All right. To be fair, let's clear the queue. And we're gonna, we're gonna clear the queue and you can push your button now to indicate that you wanna make a motion and we will begin. Microphone 9A, would you state your name, your church, city, and state, and your motion? My name is Jan Ballard. I'm a messenger from Connection Church in Spearfish, South Dakota. Every state convention now has a fully self-funded operating budget. Therefore, I move that the president of the Southern Baptist Conviction appoint a study team which shall report to the 2025 convention annual meeting any changes to the Southern Baptist Convention bylaws they might recommend to allow Southern Baptist in every cooperating state convention the opportunity to serve as representatives on convention boards, committees, commissions, and institutions unless otherwise provided in the entity's charter. This team will repeat, report all its findings to the convention. At least half of this team shall be composed of members from emerging regions of the Southern Baptist work currently excluded from full entity representation. Is there a second? Thank you. Please give a copy of your motion to the page. Microphone 3A, please state your name, your church, and your motion. Thank you, Mr. President. My name is Benjamin Cole. I'm a messenger from the Prestonwood Church of Plano, Texas. I move that this convention permit the Ethics and Religious Liberty Commission under Section 6A of the SBC Business and Financial Plan uh, to raise funds as needed from sources other than Southern Baptist churches, provided that. Uh, and then I put some provisions in my pre-filed motion do I need to read those, Mr. President? Yes, please. All right. Provided that a monthly statement of fundraising activities and receipts is provided to the SBC Executive Committee, that the SBC Executive Committee reduces the CP allocations to ERLC for that same amount in the succeeding month, that permission to raise funds as limited of above shall expire on June 9, 2025, and that permission granted hereby does not exclude ERLC from compliance with all other provisions of the SBC governing documents. Thank you, Mr. President. Is there a second? Second. Please give a copy of your motion to the page. 1A. Microphone 1A, please state your name, your church, city, and state, and your motion. Good morning, Mr. President. My name is Andy Brown, and I'm a messenger of First Baptist Church of Starkville, Mississippi. I move that the messengers of this annual meeting of the Southern Baptist Convention affirm the Nicene Creed. The Creed states, we believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, being of one substance with the Father. By him all things were made, for us and for our salvation. 
He descended from heaven and was incarnate by the Holy Spirit of the Virgin Mary and was made man. He was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried on the third day. He rose again in accordance with the scriptures and ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of the Father. He shall come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom shall have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, and who with the Father and the Son together is worshiped and glorified. He spoke through the prophets, and in one holy, universal, and apostolic church, we acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins, and we look forward to the resurrection of the dead in the life of the world to come. Amen. Is there a second? Thank you. Please give a copy of your motion to the page. Microphone 3B, please state your name, your church, city and state, and your motion. My name is Paul Montgomery. I am the pastor at First Baptist Church in Crescent, Oklahoma. I make the following motion that every entity be requested to only utilize outside legal counsel whose firm's corporate commitments do not conflict with the convention's long-standing values as reflected in the Baptist face and message regarding gender and sexuality. Is there a second? Second. Please give a copy of your motion to the page. Microphone 8A, please state your name, your church, city, and state, and your motion. Good morning, Mr. President. My name is Rhett Burns, messenger from First Baptist Church Travelers Rest in Travelers Rest, South Carolina. I move that the business and financial plan be amended as follows. Financial reports, paragraph three, be added to state. In addition to the foregoing, within six months, of the close of each financial year, each entity and the executive committee will publish information in the same detail, scope, and quality as would be required to be disclosed to the public in the informational return of organization exempt from income tax or Form 990 and all applicable schedules and attachments thereto. An officer of the entity must attest the information is true, accurate, and complete to the best of its knowledge. Unless otherwise provided, the entity or committee will use the definitions applicable by law. This does not require any entity or committee to file a 990 with the IRS or to disclose information that is not normally available to the public, such as the Schedule B. An entity or committee may use pseudonyms or note the withholding of information to the extent the majority of its trustees or committee members determines that disclosing such information would pose a threat to the life, safety, or effectiveness of, of international missionaries. Thank you, Mr. President. Is there a second? Second! Please give a copy of your motion to the page. Microphone 3C, please state your name, your church, city, and state, and your motion. My name is John Michael LaRue, and I'm a messenger of the Bridge Church in Miamisburg, Ohio. I move that the messengers of the 2024 Southern Baptist Convention direct the newly elected president of this convention to appoint a task force to study and bring a report to the 2025 annual meeting in Dallas on amending the Baptist Faith and Message 2000 by expressing in its preamble an affirmation of the doctrinal truth of the three historic creeds of the Universal Church, specifically the Apostles, Nicene, and Athanasius creeds, and by providing the text of those creeds in an appendix. The task force should include our six seminary presidents and members of the theological faculty from our seminaries, along with Southern Baptist Convention partners from all regions of North America. Is there a second? Please give a copy of your motion to the page. Microphone 8B, please state your name, your church, city, and state, and your motion. My name is Mike Borghese. I am the messenger from Spring Creek Baptist Church of Spring, Texas. 
Uh, my motion is, we the messenger, messengers of SBC 2024 annual meeting request the resignation of Brent Leatherwood, president of the ELRC. Is there a second? Please give a copy of your motion to the page. Microphone 6A, please state your name, your church, and the city and state, and your motion. Good morning, Megan Lively from Peace Church in Wilson, North Carolina. I move that the ministry assignment of the Ethics and Religious Liberty Commission be amended to add this responsibility to assist churches and entities by promoting abuse awareness and providing resources and assistance in sexual abuse prevention and response, or if the ERLC declines this assignment, that the executive committee create a new entity to assist churches by promoting abuse awareness and providing resources and assistance in sexual abuse prevention and response. Is there a second? Second. Please give a copy of your motion to the page. Microphone 4A, please state your name, your church, city, and state, and your motion. Uh, my name's Tim Overton. I'm a messenger from Kingston Avenue Baptist Church. I, uh, we're right up at the road in Anderson, Indiana. I move that a request be made of Lifeway Christian Resources to embrace anew Dr. Jimmy Draper's vision and publish a line of textbooks for homeschooling students. Is there a second? Please give a copy of your, of your motion to the page. Not a copy of your page to the motion, a copy of your motion to the page. Microphone 5A, please state your name, your church, your city and state, and your motion. Good morning, Mr. President. Pastor Good morning. Andres from First Baptist Church of Gahanna, Ohio. I move that the messengers of the 2024 SBC annual meeting in Indianapolis request the executive committee to form or task a committee to study methods that may be used that would guarantee that all churches who are in friendly co cooperation with the convention are able to, through approved messengers, remotely and securely present and vote on all nominations, amendments, and motions brought before the convention for consideration during its annual meetings and report back to the convention at the 2025 annual meeting in Dallas. Is there a second? second. Brother, I gotta ask you, did you say that your city is named Gehenna? Gehenna, yes. Okay, all right, very good. <laughs> glad we got a church serving there, that's awesome. <laughs> Please give a copy of your motion to the page. Microphone 6B, please state your name, your church, your city and state, and your motion. My name is Kenny Cody, and I am a minister from Bethel Baptist Church in Parrotsville, Tennessee. I move that we messengers to the Southern Baptist Convention meeting in Indianapolis, Indiana, June 11th through 12th, 2024, relocate all CP dollars from the ERL city to the IMB. Is there a second? Please give a copy of your motion to the page. 6C. Microphone 6C, coming right back there. Your name, your church, city, and state, and your motion. Yeah, my name is Kristen Ferguson. I'm a messenger from uh, 11th Street Baptist Church in Upland, California. I move that the messengers of this convention amend bylaw 20 regarding the resolutions committee in order to preserve the convention's ability to access proposed resolutions in a timely manner ahead of the annual meeting and also allow flexibility for the executive committee and the resolutions committee to coordinate and schedule the in-person work of the committee. The amended section one, under the requirements for properly submitted resolutions shall be amended to read. One, be submitted to the committee for rev review and consideration as early as March 15th, but no later than May 15th. The initial report of the Committee on Resolutions shall be released no later than seven days prior to the annual meeting of the convention. 
and the final report shall be published in the first day's bulletin. Is there a second? Second. Please give a copy of your motion to the page. Microphone 2A, please state your name, your church, city and state, and your motion. Mr. President, my name is Tyler Pierce, and I'm a messenger of the First Baptist Church of Crawford, Florida. In order to facilitate greater accessibility and transparency of convention and entity reports, as well as task force updates for the benefit of SBC churches and their messengers, I move that this convention request the executive committee to prioritize funds necessary to implement strategic website adaptations and improvements for SBC.net. Is there a second? Please give a copy of your motion to the page. Microphone 2B or not 2B, would you please state your name, your church, city and state, and your motion. Jonathan Raffney, Messenger, First Baptist Church, Big Spring, Texas. I move that the Messenger of the 2024 Annual Meeting in Indianapolis amend Bylaw 8, Section C, Item 3, Subsection A, concerning the Credentials Committee. I move that the sentence that currently begins, the Executive Committee shall, would now read, the Executive Committee shall, at the next meeting, consider the report of the Credentials Committee and should immediately notify the Chair of the Committee on Order Business to schedule a vote for the messengers at the next annual meeting to determine if a church is not in friendly cooperation with the Convention. I further move that the sentence that begins, the Executive Committee's decision would now read, the vote of the messengers shall be final, other than the reconsideration of the church's status as outlined in Amendment Bylaw A, Section C, Item 4. I further move to strike subsections B, C, and D. I further move that Item 4 now read, if a church which has been found to not be in friendly cooperation with the convention addresses the issues which led to that finding, it may apply to the Credentials Committee for a reconsideration of its status. If the circumstances warrant, the Credentials Committee may recommend to the messengers at the next annual meeting that the church be once again considered a cooperating church. Chair of the Committee on Order Business shall be immediately notified of this Credential Committee's actions in order to schedule a vote of the messengers at the next annual meeting. I tried to make this short as possible, Mr. President. Thank you for that. May God bless you. Is there a second? Please give a copy of your motion to the page. Microphone 10A, please state your name, your church, your city and state, and your motion. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, my name is Parker Roberts. I'm pastor and messenger of Mount Vernon Baptist Church in Baxley, Georgia. I make a motion that the 2024 Southern Baptist Convention meeting in Indianapolis, Indiana, issue a formal request for the North American Mission Board to submit to a thorough and comprehensive financial, forensic, compliance, and value for money audit for the previous fiscal year with the results being expediently publicized upon completion of these audits. Is there a second? Yes. Please give a copy of your motion to the page. Microphone 1A, please state your name, your church, city, and state, and your motion. Good morning, Mr. President. Uh, Scott Talley, First Baptist Church of Lutz, Florida. I, make, I move that a task force or committee be established to study how the churches within the Southern Baptist Convention can get back to seeing increase in evangelism, salvations, and baptisms in our local churches. This task force or committee will gather information, conduct research, and provide recommendations regarding a plan or initiative for evangelism, in salvations and baptisms within the local churches within the Southern Baptist Convention. The committee shall consist of members that are made up of various churches of all sizes. The committee's tasks and responsibilities shall include, but are not limited to, conducting a thorough review and analysis of what churches within our convention are doing in lieu of evangelism, outreach, and to see more people come to Christ. Also, what our churches are doing to help people move from salvation response to, to baptism. Collect relevant, secondly, collect relevant data, information, and expert opinions. Thirdly, examine potential impacts and benefits if we had an evangelism gospel-centered focus and baptism mindset, identifying best practices, initiative approaches, or alternative solutions related to the gospel presentation, salvation, and baptism. Fifth, 
drafting a comprehensive report detailing their findings, conclusions, and recommendations, and lastly, present the report to the 2025 Southern Baptist Convention in Dallas with their findings or updates. That's it, Mr. President. Thank you. Is there a second? Please, please bring a copy of, or give a copy of your motion to the page. Microphone 9A, please state your name, your church, city, and state, and your motion. My name is Brand Booth from Christ Community Church, San Jose, San Jose, California. And this is my motion. Whereas the Southern Baptist Convention values inclusivity and accessibility for all members, including messengers unable to attend the annual meeting in person due to geographical, financial, or other constraints, and whereas advancements in technology have made remote participation and voting feasible while maintaining the integrity and security of the voting process, I move that the Southern Baptist Executive Committee hereby adopts the following measures to enable remote participation and voting for messengers at the annual meeting. One, implementation of a secure online platform that allows registered messengers to remote accept access live streams of meeting proceedings, participate in discussions, make motions and cast votes. Two, develop an implementation of robust identity verification measures to ensure that not only, that only, only authorized messengers are able to access the remote voting platform. Three, adoption of procedures to safeguard the integrity and confidentiality of remote votes, including encryption protocols, audit trails, and meshes, measures to prevent tampering or unauthorized access, four provisions of technical support and assistance to help messengers navigate the remote participation and voting process, including training sessions and user guides, five, establish a clear guidelines and protocols for remote participation and voting, including deadlines for registration and resolution of technical issues, six, regular evaluation and refinement of remote voting procedures to address any identified shortcomings and ensure continuous improvement in the integrity and effectiveness of the process, and lastly, communication and promotion of remote participation options to cooperating churches to maximize inclusivity, encourage broader participation in the annual meeting, and allow for a messenger body that is more reflective of the SBC as a whole. Be it further resolved that the SBC Executive Committee is authorized and directed to take all necessary actions to implement the provisions of this motion, including the allocation of resources, the development of policies and procedures, the selection of appropriate technology vendors or partners. This executive committee should also assess the impact that remote participation will have in, on, on in-person attendance at the next annual meeting. I am done. Thank you. <laughs> Is there a second? Thank you. Please give a copy of your motion to the page. Not only are you done, we're done. The time for the introduction of new motions has expired. There's going to be another chance going to be another chance tonight for you to do that. And at this time, the chair passes the gavel to first vice president, Jay Adkins.